Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am super excited because I have the new Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. Um, the Cheek, My Dream Cheek Trio and the three lip products. So that's the whole collection basically. Uh, when I first saw this, I didn't think I was that excited about it, but I believe the first like promo photos of this collection made it look more like purple than it actually is. I don't know, like even the lip products looked like they were going to be that grayy mauve tone that I don't like on my lips. But when I saw swatches, I was like, okay, I have to get the lip products also. And I was definitely going to get the cheek palette either way because I love Natasha Denona cheek palettes. The Love Glow palette is one of my favorite things like in my whole collection. So I'm very excited about the cheek palette. And then the eyeshadow palette, I justified <laughs> purchasing this because I don't have the retro, yeah, the retro palette or the glam palette and a lot of people were saying this kind of looked like a mixture of those two and I don't have those so I will do some comparisons at the end just for fun really because I honestly don't have any other Natasha Denona palettes that look like this like as a whole but we'll see that later um, but yeah I already have my base on so yeah let's just start with the cheek the blush and highlighter palette basically so this is I have the window open because even though it's September it's still like 30 degrees out and it's getting really annoying um, but yeah let's start with the cheek palette and I'm sorry for the noise but this is the My Dream Cheek Trio Blush and Highlighter Palette and this is the packaging which is like a fun like matte feel with this like ink splatter kind of thing um, and this is what it looks like inside basically the same on the inside um, so this part is like a matte like soft touch but the ink splatter is kind of like raised if you can see that on camera and it's like a shiny feel so packaging pretty fun um, and it's meant to look like I guess she had it laid out like with her other makeup stuff because I watched the the promo video that Natasha Denona did for this collection and basically the reason it's called like my dream collection is because these are like her ultimate like color palettes and the makeup she likes to do like for her own makeup I thought there was a wasp <laughs> for her own makeup artistry so yeah I thought that was pretty cool this is what it looks like inside so you have a cream blush a cream a glow cream base and a dream glow highlighter so these two are cream textures and this is the powder um, I think this looks really pretty off the bat very like going into fall shades for me so I'm really happy um, about the colors in this one this might be a little too deep for me but we'll see how it goes um, let me just turn my overhead light on because it looks kind of dark Okay, I think that's better. So we're gonna start with the cheek palette, like I said. Usually I put blush on first, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I do have bronzer on already, um, just because I would probably forget to put it on later if I didn't do it now. Um, yeah, so let's just jump right into this. I don't know if it says anything special here. Oh, it does have a how to use. You guys know I always have to read the how to use. It says step one, with a damp beauty sponge, dense face brush, or fingers, apply a cream blush to the apples and high points of the cheek for a soft natural flush of color. Okay, 
that's what I was gonna do anyway. I have this brush from e.l.f. which you may have seen if you watch my other videos. I always use this brush for cream blush. Um, well, not always, but most of the time. It's the e.l.f. Airbrush Stipple Brush. I think they discontinued these, and I don't know why, because they were so good. But anyway, um, I did watch a few videos on this collection already because I was waiting to get this. I ordered it on the pre-release, like on the Sephora app for Rouge. If, if you're a Rouge, you get to like order a day in advance or something. But then of course I got an email saying they were having warehouse delays. <laughs> so yeah, it, it just came today actually. So I have seen people saying this is very pigmented. So I'm just gonna go with a little bit for now and just start right, should I zoom in maybe a little? Yeah, so I'll just start up here. It's really pretty already. I really like this shade for fall, like I mentioned, because it's not like too vibrant and like summery, but it still has like a nice, you know, color to it. So I'm just dabbing right in a few times. I do like to use Natasha's um, cream blush formulas with a sponge, but I just wanted to do a brush with this one. Um, but I have used them with a sponge in the past and they work out really nicely. I feel like I have too much going on this side, so let's just even it out. Then I just like to bring any excess across my nose. Yeah, I really like that already. Very pretty. Then I believe the step two is going to say to use the glow cream base. Yes. To add radiant dewy shine, apply glow cream base onto the higher cheekbones with a beauty sponge, dense face, dense face brush. <laughs> or fingers. Uh, I think I'm going to use my fingers for this. Um, I just wanted to say I just got this today and it looks like someone put their finger in here. <laughs> I don't know. And that's not the first time that happened when I ordered from Sephora. Um, that it's looked like someone's been in the packaging. I don't know. It's kind of creepy but I don't know, we're just going to go for it. So I guess I'm just going to swirl. So this is, um, yeah, it's pretty, um, what's the word, emollient. That's how much came off. Um, so let's just go. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, yeah. I was a little afraid at first that I picked up too much, but it's very easy to blend out um, with your fingers at least. And that's really pretty. And it's not too, it's not like too gold undertone. It's really a nice shade for my skin tone at least. So let's go on the other side. Ooh. Yeah, this side you'll see it a lot better because the window is right here. It's really pretty. I have a dust particle on my face, whatever. Ooh, I like that. And let's do a little down the bridge of the nose, not too much. Because normally I'd rather put the powder part on my nose just to avoid like messing up my base. But let's put some here too. 
just for fun. <laughs> Maybe a bit more up here. Okay. I really like that. So if you're into a more like subtle dewy look with your highlighter, you could just leave it like that and I think it looks really nice. But of course I want to test out the whole palette for this video. So I'm going to go in with the Dream Glow Powder. This is step 3 for extra dimension and high shine. Layer Green Glow... <laughs> I can't read today. Dream Glow Highlighter over the glow cream base using a highlighting brush or fingers can also be applied to the bridge of the nose, cupid's bow, and brow bones. So let's do that. Let's take a brush. I'm just going to use... There's like 17 airplanes going over my head today. Let's go. I'm going to use a fan brush because I don't want this to get too like too much you know because it does look like it's quite gold for me but let's just see how it goes okay I don't know if I picked up enough. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> so maybe fan brush wasn't the best idea because I feel like it's not buffing in as, as much as I would like right here. But it still looks nice. Okay, yeah, I don't think that looks too dark on me at all. I guess the glow cream base, because it was lighter, kind of helps to, you know, even out the goldness of the powder, but that looks really nice and smooth. And I also like to take any excess and put it on my brow bone. That's why I didn't do my eyebrows either, because this would have messed them up anyway. And a bit on the cupid's bow. Okay, that's really pretty. I like this a lot. I think it's very easy to use. And you can just follow the steps if you wanted to. Um, or just use like the cream on its own depending how you like your look. Yes, very nice. So let's try the eyeshadow palette, which I'm very excited about. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion because I use that every time I do my eyeshadow. So, another plane. This is the packaging of the eyeshadow palette. This is also made in Italy, and there is multiple formulas in this palette, which is one of the things that sold me on it also. It's not just like, well, you'll see. It's not just a basic palette. Um, so there's matte eyeshadows, and there's also metallic, Duochrome and Chroma Crystal eyeshadows. So, yeah, I'm very excited to look at this. This is one of her midi size palettes, so it's not the like, you know, a hundred and whatever, sixty something dollar ones. It's the middle range. I don't know how much it is Canadian, I never remember, but I think in the US it's $65. And this is the color story so yes it does look first off like the retro palette in my opinion but it does lean more like deep and purple here 
um, yeah, so to me it looks different. I don't, like I said, I don't have the retro palette. Um, that was like one of my biggest makeup disappointments <laughs> was when I saw the the big retro palette because it was like not at all like the mini one, which is one of my favorites, but anyway. So I don't have a color story like this from Natasha Denona and I think it's really nice for fall, but also any time of year really it's like a nice neutral leaning mauve I guess um, but like I said you have these deeper shades that can really like smoke make it look more smoky or more nighttime depending on what you like so what am I gonna do today there is a few transition shades for my skin tone um, there's this one, Carpe Diem, there's this one, Unity, there's Nurture, um, yeah, there's those three. That are, those are really the lightest shades in the palette, so there is no, like, matte cream shade that I like to set my eyelid with, but that's fine. So I think I'm going to start with Unity, the lightest shade, really, this one here. And just put that everywhere. Oh, it's actually a bit deeper on the eye than I thought it would be. And I'm just going to do one eye on camera to save time because these types of videos can get really long. <laughs> That's a really nice shade and it's blending out super easily. For the crease, I want to go in with this shade here called Carpe Diem, which is kind of like Unity, but deeper, like in the same family. And there is a lot of kick up in these mattes, if you can see that. So if that tells you anything about the formula, I guess I'm putting that everywhere. <laughs> Just not as high as the first shade. And of course I have to use a shimmer on the lid. So there's a lot of pretty shades. I know everyone goes straight for this shade here because it's a multi-chrome. The shade Vision. I'll swatch it for you, but I don't think I'm going to use that. Oh my god, it's really cool. Though. It has a green shift, if you can see. Yes, you definitely can see that there. I just think this will make my look too dark for what I'm going for. But there it is. Very pretty. I think I'm going to just do the shade Babies, which is like a lilac kind of taupey shade here. That looks real pretty. And I'm gonna try it with the brush first and see if I need to use my finger or how it's working out. It's very creamy, I can tell, just from putting my brush in. I like it. Let's see with the finger. Yeah, this is definitely one of those formulas that, you know, the impact with your finger is a lot, it makes a big difference compared with the brush. So I felt like it wasn't as sparkly as I wanted it to be with the brush, but it, it still went on but I think that looks a lot prettier and shinier. I really like that a lot. But I think I want to deepen up the outer corner. So I'm going to use the shade Familia, this one here. The other one that I might have used would be Aspiration, but that's very dark. 
and I don't really want this to go purple today so let's do Familia which is more like a mid-tone brown kind of lots of kick up on that shade I really just want a bit of this in the outer corner Yes, that is pretty. I do have a bit of fallout here, if anyone cares about that. Probably if you were gonna go for like a really deep look with this palette, you might wanna do your eyes first because getting purple on your concealer or foundation might not be that easy to get rid of. I really like that. Um, yeah, I think I want to leave that there for now. Maybe once I do the other eye, I'll even something out. But let's just go straight to the lower lash line. I think I'm just going to take Carpe Diem again. Um, this I'm just going to focus like on the outer half, I guess, of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to actually take the shade I use on the lid, Babies, because I don't, I don't want it to get too, you know, dark in the inner corner. Let's try it with the brush just to see. Yeah, that works. And for the inner corner, there's really only two shades, at least that I would use to brighten an inner corner on my skin tone would be this shade Spontaneous and this shade Thrill, which is a bit deeper. I think I wanna try Thrill because I think that's a duochrome and I just wanna see what happens. Ooh, yeah, I like that. It has a bit of a pink, like a pink and a gold shift. I think this might be what she calls chroma crystal formula. I could be wrong. I never really understand the difference between her formulas. Um, but I think that's what that would be. Because it's more, like it has more like a sheer base and a sparkle as opposed to the shade I put on my lid, which is like a metallic, I would say. So I think that's what it means. I'm just gonna put any excess on my brow bone. And I think that's all I wanna do right now. So I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I will be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I really like how this turned out. I decided it would be fun to use my Charlotte Tilbury Dream Pop mascara. So if you're wondering why like my mascara is not black, um, that's why. Because <laughs> I thought the tones would complement each other and I think it looks really fun. Um, yeah, I really like this. Is it a look I could have done with other palettes in my collection? Yes. <laughs> but everything performed really nicely. I mean, as I expect from Natasha Denona for a higher price point brand at Sephora. Um, but everything was really nice. Um, the only thing I would say is with this, with the metallics, but maybe this is the only one in the palette that had that formula, but this definitely needs to be applied with your finger, or maybe just spray your brush if you don't use your fingers, because otherwise you won't get the full impact. Um, but I don't really see what other shade in this palette would be the same formula. They may be spontaneous, 
this light like champagne shade but yeah I don't know I used um, one two three four five I used five of the shades in my look today and they're almost like all different <laughs> formula well except for the mattes but yeah I just really like it um, so that's all I have to say about this for now but we'll look at some comparisons later but I am very excited to play with this some more I think you can get a variety of looks out of this it may look very purpley on camera but if you single out things like you could do a really neutral shade you could do more just like a basic champagne shade but then you could also do a really dark purple shade you could use this fun like multi-chrome so yeah I think it's really fun I just had to touch that shade invention <laughs> and that's more like a topper I think like a nice yellowy I don't know what would you call that coppery shade that's really pretty Okay, so that is it for the palette. If you're in the market for a Natasha Denona palette, I mean, I think this is a good one. You can't really go wrong. Because maybe the pastel palette you wouldn't use as often if you're like me. <laughs> and then the bronze palette, if that even still exists, is definitely more of like a truly just bronze palette. Like there's not much differentiation differentiation between the shades but this one is very like you could go from day to night kind of thing I don't know I just think it's a fun variety of colors so I'll stop rambling about that because we need to try the lip products there is three of them there's a lip liner a lipstick and a lip gloss and I just had to have all three apparently I think this is an existing shade because it's the shade is Natasha and this is her I Need a Nude line. Well, at least the lip liner is. But then I watched um, Patty Alonzo's video and she has the Natasha lip liner in the I Need a Nude collection. And she said she swatched them and they didn't look the same. So I don't know, maybe she just felt like calling this Natasha again. But either way, I don't have any of those shades in my collection. But let's start with the lip liner, of course. So same packaging with the ink splatter. This is the I Need a Nude Lip Crayon. It says Long Lasting Easy Glide Lip Pencil. I was trying to figure out, like, are these sharpenable? No, they can't be because this is plastic. But that's the shade. It's a really nice nude, of course. Ooh, and it is super creamy. That's um, a very light swatch, actually, and it went on really nicely. But if these aren't sharpenable, I'm wondering what the heck, how do you, how do you sharpen them? Because there's no sharpener on the end, unless I'm an idiot. I don't know, maybe you are meant to sharpen these, but it just seems like it's going to be difficult. But anyway, let's go in with this. I'm going to use the cheek palette as my mirror so you can see what I'm doing. Yep, that is super creamy. It's actually quite close to the shade of my lips, this lip liner. But that's all right. I kind of overlined them a little because I was watching a Lauren May Beauty video and she was saying, if you don't like how your lips look when you line them downwards try going up so i wanted to try that and i actually think that made a huge difference so yeah really nice and creamy 
pigmented, but this shade is like very similar to the shade of my lips, so I don't know how much you can see it on camera. And then the lipstick is the My Dream Lipstick, the Luptious Creamy Hydrating Lip Color. It has the same packaging as her other lipsticks, um, but obviously with the ink splatter and the different color, but it's the same like nice magnetic closure. And the bottom is very heavy, but this part, it's still heavy, but not as much. Um, but I really think they feel nice and luxurious. So that's the shade. I believe it should match exactly the lip liner. Well, not really. It's a bit more pink. So I do like that. I like that the lip liner is deeper than the lipstick and that felt so creamy. Um, it smells really nice, like vanilla, I guess, like the MAC lipsticks. So this would have been my first time trying a Natasha Denona lipstick, but if you saw my haul video, I bought one of them because they were on sale for a really good price. So now I have two and that's how I know, like they're the same packaging. Ooh, that's very pretty. That is definitely a nude on me, but I really like it. And it's a nice change <laughs> from me always doing brown nudes. Um, this one is more pink. Well, let me just see. Let's read how they describe it. Oh, that lip liner is not coming off my hand. <laughs> but that's good. I like that. I like that it means it's long wearing. Um, let's see how they describe this color because I'm not sure how to describe it. Okay, so this is the shade Natasha, like I said. It's described as a light neutral pink. Okay. I would have thought it, it's more cool than neutral, at least on my skin tone. Um, but I really like it a lot. This is a shade that I could wear if I went a bit bolder with my eye look too because it's not too much. It feels really nice and creamy and I really like it. But we also have the gloss. I mean, I would probably just you know, leave the house with this on, but because there was a gloss in the collection, let's try it. But I feel like this is already <laughs> super, like nice and creamy and shiny, but the lip gloss, um, I'm actually excited about this. I've never tried a Natasha Denona lip gloss. This is the My Dream Lip Gloss, lusciously soft and hydrating lip shine. And the packaging is really cute. It's a nice like soft touch like the other products. And that's the shade. And I was um, surprised when I opened this. This has like a shimmer to it. Like very subtle, I'm not even sure. I guess you could see it on camera. But for some reason I thought this was gonna be like a matte lip gloss, but it's not. And it has one of these applicators like a flat paddle so let's just oh oh my gosh <laughs> that feels really nice and it smells really good that felt that was like super thin but also creamy at the same time i love this That's very comfortable, not at all sticky, almost like a lip oil um, type feel, but I love it. I feel like my look turned out very monochromatic, but that's okay. Um, very nice. So that was everything, right? Yeah. Uh, I love everything. <laughs> 
there was no issues with anything at all. Even what I thought I might not like, which was the this powder highlighter actually turned out super beautiful. Very smooth, not powdery at all on the face. So I'm very excited to keep using all of these products. This might be my new favorite lip combo. I don't know. I don't know. So let's do some comparisons, like I said, just for fun. Basically just to give me an excuse to talk about my other Natasha Denona <laughs> makeup. But yeah, let me get those out and I'll be back. I think I got out all of my Natasha Denona stuff, which is actually a lot. <laughs> I should do like a video just on my Natasha Denona collection because it's gotten a little crazy. But let's start with the eyeshadow palettes. I have, well, I just got this little guy, which you may have seen in my haul video. It's a Baby Biba palette. Um, and I'm kind of interested to see because I know Natasha likes to put the same shades in different palettes. So I'm wondering if I have any duplicates. And I'm really sorry about the airplane. I know you can hear that. There's been like 25, just me, <laughs> filming this video, I feel. <sighs> anyway, so this has the shades Monroe, L, and Coco in it. It's a more like camel brown color story in my opinion. I mean, I guess you could say the shimmer shade looks like the shade Spontaneous. So let's swatch them. Those are quite similar. So that is Monroe from the Baby Biba, which I guess means that is in the regular Biba palette. And this is Spontaneous from the My Dream palette. If I look really closely, Spontaneous is a bit more gold, but on camera they look exactly the same, I feel. So it would prob probably look very similar on the eye. Then I have a 5 pen palette, the Ayana palette. I got in a boxy charm. Um, again, this is more like a cool tone camel brown color story. And I do see that maybe this shade in the middle called Satin. Oops, I just dug my fingernail in. Oh, that's more like a smooth, yeah, satin shade. And then the shade in the Dream Collection, Serenity, which feels more creamy. Oh no, that's definitely deeper. But satin, and that's Serenity. Those are really pretty. So I think Serenity is the same formula as the satin shade. That lip liner is still on there, <laughs> even after a makeup wipe. Yeah, but the other shades in here, nothing very similar to me. And then I have another five pen palette, the, um, the Peak palette, also from BoxyCharm. This one has a, a similar matte shade, this shade here. Amara, I think. Yeah. Because it's more like a pinky mauve shade. And then I'm looking at Carpe Diem, which is the shade I have in my crease. That's more... So that's Amara. More pinky. And this one is more mauve. Yeah, but those are really pretty. <laughs> Same formula as I can tell. Sometimes I wonder if these Natasha Denona palettes from BoxyCharm, if they are the same as her good, like her regular formula. And I, it seems that they are, so that's good to know. My last um, five pen palette, another BoxyCharm <laughs> exclusive. Um, this is the Cupid. This one is probably going to have a lot of similarities because it's that pinky purple. But let's see, maybe not. 
I thought those would have more similarities than they do. Maybe this matte shade kind of looks like Familia, but Familia has almost like a bit of red undertone, whereas this one looks more, I don't know, plum. Let's see. Yeah, so that one's more like a plum to me. That's the shade Nude Vino in the Cupid palette. And then Familia, which is the shade in my outer V, that's more like a brown, like a reddish brown. Oh, okay. This is interesting. So in the Cupid palette, the middle shade is the same shade as the shade in the Baby Biba, which is the shade Monroe. That is very interesting. And I forgot to mention in between the Baby Biba and the five pens, I also have a mini five pen palette. This is one of my favorites, the Mini Retro. Um, this one is very special, I feel. And which is why I was hoping the big retro palette would be this, you know, but it, it's just mauve. <laughs> so with this one, nope, I don't really see much. There's this matte shade that maybe looks like this one, but I feel like the one in the mini retro is more beige than the Unity shade in the My Dream palette. And then my other Natasha Denona Midi palettes, I have the Pastel palette. I mean, this is totally a different vibe, but I wanted to see if maybe some of the shimmers could be similar. I don't see it. That's totally different in my opinion. And then the bronze palette. Beautiful. This one probably is the most similar side to side, but I think you can still see the vibe is different. Like the bronze palette is truly a bronze color story. Maybe leaning like warm red browns. Different though. And even like the copper shade is not the same as this one in the My Dream palette. Yeah, and the mattes in the bronze are definitely more like true brown shades as opposed to the purpley browns in this one. And then the last palette I have, the first Natasha Denona palette I ever bought was the Sunrise palette and I love this one because it has those fun yellow shades in it. No, I still think they look very different from each other, at least side by side. But then the shade Awakening in the Sunrise palette looks very similar to Babies, the shade on my lid. Nope, but it's not. So this one is the shade Awakening from the Sunrise palette. It's more of a pink undertone and Babies is more of a lilac, lavender kind of. Okay, good to know. Maybe I skipped something, but I don't think I have any duplicates aside from the one I found out about <laughs> in these two palettes, which is interesting, but yeah. Maybe I overlook something, but I feel like this palette is different enough from my other ones. So yeah, that is it for the comparisons. Oh, no it's not. I wanted to compare the face palette because I have the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette still in the box <laughs> in my new makeup drawer. This is an Eye and Cheek Essential and this is the light version. This is really pretty. I don't know why. I don't need this. Well, I do know why. It's because I didn't have a video to film with this. 
but I was wondering if the blush was kind of similar. So this is what that palette looks like. It has a cream blush and a star glow. I think that's a powder. Yeah, star glow powder. Okay, right off the bat, I think the one in the face palette is more of like a rosy tone. And the cream blush in the My Dream palette is more mauve. Yeah. So that's the one in the Natasha Denona Glam Face palette, the light version. And that's the one in the new palette. And I will say they don't seem to be the same formula either. The one in this palette, it says it's a cream, but it's actually kind of dry feeling, if that makes sense. The one in the face palette is more like an actual cream texture. So I don't know if she changed her formula or if it's just this palette that has a different one. And then I also have the Love Glow and the Bloom palette. Um, the cream blush in this one is a glow cream base. It has more like a sheen to it, first of all, and it's definitely more pinky red. And then in the Bloom palette, there is also two cream blushes, two, cream, two glow cream bases, I should say. Definitely different. And again, this one has a sheen to it. The one in this palette is matte, the cream blush. Um, and this one, I feel, is more peachy tone, and this is obviously like a burgundy shade. So I feel those are different enough too. Okay, so all this was kind of just for my own <laughs> interest. I just wanted to see if I had duplicates, because I have a lot of Natasha Denona things now. And the last thing was the lipstick. Like I mentioned, I just hauled this... Um, I need a nude lipstick in the shade Allison, and so this is the standard one, and this is the new one, but they're the same, well, this one is actually bigger, bigger packaging, but same like magnetic closure and shape, kind of, and this is Allison, so let's see. Is this the same formula? I feel like this one is definitely creamier. Yeah. So if you were wondering, this is not the same formula as her regular lipsticks. But this is Allison and you can see it's more, it's still creamy but it's more matte. And then this is Natasha My Dream lipstick. A lot more shiny and creamier and this one I would say is more rosy yeah so I'm glad those are different too because I was a little concerned <laughs> but I think that's all for my comparisons I hope that was helpful I don't know if it was it might be just very specific to my personal collection but I thought it would be fun to do that anyway so yeah if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more looks with the palette, because I know this is a very, this is a look I've done before. So if you want to see something more bold or more purple, let me know below. And if I didn't say already, give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.